All right, Shalom. First off, give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Karkadash, the Barnas, the Apostles, and the Elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during the truth and in sincerity, and the women and the children who follow. So, uh, just wanted to go into this word redemption. Okay. The children of Israel were in a, a redemption art. If uh, if any of you are a fan of um, really movies in general, you know, like I'll give you an example, uh, the character Vegeta. Vegeta, he came in as a bad guy, okay, got humbled, and then he redeemed himself, and, you know, he had kind of a redemption arc, and, you know, he became a so-called good guy, you know what I mean? He wasn't an enemy anymore. Uh, so basically, they like turned his character around. So, like I said, the children of Israel, we are on our redemption arc. We're at the bottom right now. You know, the scriptures say I've seen servants sown horses, you know, and men working on the earth. So, roughly paraphrase. So that's that's where we're at. We're we're at the bottom, and those who are at the top don't deserve to be there. They have our spot. So, but the tables are going to turn, all right? When our redemption arc closes, we're going to be at the top, okay? We're going to be at the the head of the table where we deserve to be. So, uh, we're going to get this word in the etymology online. It's redemption. It says deliverance from sin. You know, you, you really can't beat that, okay? Because we are set in sin, you know? We're born into this life, you know, and uh, for the most part here in America, we're not born knowing this truth. You know, most of us had, had to grow and the truth found us and revealed itself to us. But uh, it says from old French, uh, redemption and directly Latin Redemption in uh, nom nominative redemptio, a buying back, releasing or ransoming, also bribery. Okay, because basically we're being bought back. The Lord put us away and now he bought us back. How did he buy us back? Through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came down as that lamb was slaughtered for the nation of Israel. For the elect first, but ultimately for you know for the whole nation. So that's really what it what it means. It means you know to buy back. So uh, this, we're gonna get some some scriptures, and I believe I got the uh, the definition in in uh, the New Testament as well. But this is a uh, first. I said first Ephesians, <laughs> Ephesians one. Starting at verse 3, it says, Blessed be the Most High and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he has chosen us, him before the foundation, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame uh, before him in love. So like I said, when I want to say that he die for the the leg first those are the individuals who were chosen before the foundation of the world and everyone who dies here in america and around the four corners that are the children of israel they're going to be brought back in the kingdom okay it says having predestined okay so before that's basically saying there's no you have a, a destiny. Everything is set up. It's a predestination. Okay. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Okay. Like I said, he died on the cross for us. It says, uh, to praise, uh, to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he had made us accepted in the, in the beloved in whom we have redemption 
through his blood. We're being brought back through his blood. Okay, he says the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. And that's what we're in right now. We're in grace. We're, we are receiving grace. All right, we're not, we don't have to sacrifice a, a, a dove or um, a lamb and, you know, all the, the things that the law said that we had to do. Not that we have, not that we have uh, grace to break the law. We have grace to not feel the sting of the punishments. I can't even say that because it says no sin goes unpunished. But basically, there's there's um, there's laws that say if you do this, you get put to death. And we have the ability to repent, to go back from our actions. Because the most because the most high gave his son, Yahweh Shai, to give his life. So that's why we shouldn't keep doing these things that we know that we shouldn't do. Because you're asking Yahweh Shai to go back onto the cross and it says uh uh hold on, let me see. See if I can find that script. Yeah, this is uh Hebrew six and six it says if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh and put him to an open shame. Basically, if you keep doing the same things, you're basically asking the Most High to let his son get, get crucified again to to you know to clean you again. Are you doing it afresh? You're doing it again. Okay? Which is a put and put him to open shame. So, because you keep fucking up. Because you can't stop doing whatever it is you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh I got to go back and, and um, get get sacrificed again for you. That's not going to happen. Alright, so that's why it's definitely important to be serious in your repentance. Okay? Um, but let's go into this word redemption that we have here. Um, the word is... Uh, Apultrios. It says, um, a releasing affected by a payment of ransom. What was that payment? That payment was the Lord giving his life. All right, redemption, deliverance. We're going to be delivered out of America. He's going to redeem us out of America. He's going to come and get us. A liberation procured by the payment of a ransom. So, if somebody's in a hostage situation and they got three or four people in there, they got a family of three, some robbers, and they say, they tell the cops, hey, I want $3 million and I'll let them go. They're paying the $3 million and then they're letting the people go. Well, what happened with us? We went off. Okay. The Most High gave us a bill of divorce. Okay. So we were separated. Now, the Most High is sending us Yahweh Shai. He sent us Yahweh Shai as that ransom, i.e. the $3 million. And now we get to come back to the Most High. That's how it works. <clears throat> this is uh, Job 19 and 25. It says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth, and, you know, that Redeemer is Yahweh Shai. And this is Job speaking about that latter day. He says, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see the Most High. So that proves reincarnation. Job understood how things go. He knew that uh, he wasn't in the time of the Redeemer. But he understood that in that, that at that time he will be in flesh at that time he will be able to see you know the the redemption of our people this is a uh, Isaiah 43 and 14 it says thus says thus says the Lord your redeemer the holy one of Israel Yahweh Shai okay Yahweh Shai 
It says, uh, for your sake, I have sent, uh, for, for your sake, I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans who cry is in the ships. Okay. For our sake, he sent Yahweh Shai to Babylon to destroy it. Okay. And that's going to, that's how we're going to get saved out of this place. He's going to redeem us at that time. He's going to buy us back. He's going to take us out of America before the destruction hits. So that this place can be laid flat and we don't partake in the plagues thereof. Alright, this is uh, Psalm 111, starting at verse 6. It says, He has showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. Okay, when we get in the kingdom, we're going to have that heritage of the heathen. We're going to have slaves. We're going to have that that... That seat at the table that I spoke about before. We're going to be in our power. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. Uh, and all his commandments are sure. They stand fast and forever and ever. And are done in the truth of uprightness. It says, he sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. The Holy One and Reverend is his name. Okay. He sent redemption unto his people. He brought back his people. All right, like I said, we were given that bill of divorce. There was a separation for for years upon years. And then Yahweh Shai came down, gave his life, and brought us back. And now Yahweh Shai is going to come back again after you know he made that sacrifice, but he's going to come back in his glory and he's going to save us out of this hellhole, this God forsaken place. All right, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his, his praise endureth forever. Okay, so with that being said, I hope you, you know, learned something today. And I uh, want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Karkadash, the honors to the apostles, nailed to the GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners for during the truth and sincerity in the women and the children who follow. Shalom.